Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing the Blancpain Le Mans Flyback Chronograph. You can see and you can purchase this 38mm automatic winding flyback Blancpain chronograph on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on that card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this Blancpain Le Mans flyback chronograph. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see the watch is very much traditional in size. Mid 20th century chronographs at the height of chronograph wristwatch design and development were often sized in the 38 millimeter range that you see here. The watch has a bigger visual signature, however, because of the strength of its bezel design and the superb bracelet, which visually extends the watch across the wrist. Now, 38 millimeters is the distance from nine to three, not inclusive of crown or chronograph pushers. It's a slim case at 11.5 millimeters thick. You can see the double gaudron step of the bezel, easily allowing a dress cuff or tight sleeve to flow up and over. Throw this 100 meter water resistant sports watch on a strap and the lug to lug dimension is a compact 43.5 millimeters on the bracelet with solid end links it extends to a more contemporary 48.5 millimeters across the wrist the bracelet is part of the pleasure of owning this watch with a solid steel case back and a substantial bracelet the watch is heftier on the wrist than the size would suggest it feels like a premium timepiece and you can see to good effect the exceptional contrasting finish of the bracelet which is highly similar to the celebrated X71 used on the company's iconic 50 Fathoms Diver. Again, the differential finish beautifully evident. It's actually more supple on the wrist than the industry standard three-link Rolex Oyster despite a more formidable visual signature. And you can see how that visual signature is achieved with a slight amount of countersink allowing the links to interlock. So there's almost no daylight visible through this bracelet such are the tolerances. On the underside though, you can see the broad channels and smooth the finish of the lugs, enabling it to wear smoothly without pulling hair or pinching skin. Very comfortable, also very solid, and paired with a double deployant polished Blancpain folding steel clasp. Very secure when closed, also low in profile when closed. You can see that the case itself is dominated by the dial and the bezel. The lugs fall away. The bezel with its double step appears masculine, formidable, muscular, and this in spite of the fact that the watch is not large. It achieves that power through calculated design rather than brute force. The dial is readily evident at a glance. You can immediately see the time as well as chronograph time. Let's restart the chronograph. The light on black contrast is exceptional, and each of the sub-registers is slightly countersunk to add a bit more visual depth to the dial, and there's a slight step to the hour track outboard of the center dial. It actually glows like a torch at night. The watch is highly legible, sports watch style, true to its heritage, of course, coming from the company that minted the 50 Fathoms. The Le Mans is sort of the second Blancpain line of the modern era. If the 50 Fathoms is the reference to history, the Le Mans is modern innovation, a sort of distillation of Blancpain's goals to be both elegant and sporting, rendered in a case that in this instance is quite wearable across a broad range of wrists. I would say down to 13 and a half centimeters circumference, you're gonna wear this watch with security. Of course, the caliber F185 movement inside gives you standard flyback functionality. It's automatic winding with a 40 hour power reserve. You can't see it through the case back, but it is quite nicely finished by Blancpain's movement partner, Frédéric Piguet. Unidirectional winding, it beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour. There is a quick set function for the date. Once again, 100 meter water resistance. It features both a column wheel for crisp function selection and a vertical clutch such that the seconds hand always starts without jump, stops without stagger, and resets precisely to the index at 12. Moreover, with a vertical clutch, this 37 joule automatic movement can simply be left with the chronograph running without any additional wear, tear, or hazard to the movement. That's the advantage of a vertical clutch. You can see and you can purchase this handsome, classically styled, but thoroughly modern Blancpain flyback chronograph on our website.